It's time now for the morning rush. We're going to start with Kristen Curry live from Balloon Fiesta Park. Kristen. Good morning. When it comes to the next big weather maker, we are done with the rain, snow and cold front just left is sunshine and temperatures will pretty much be cooler today in the 40s, 50s and 60s. Warmer temps on the way for the rest of the work week. As you get ready to head out the door, we are following the day's top local stories. and We're going to start with Crystal Gutierrez, who is also watching what's happening with Balloon Fiesta. Good morning, Crystal. Oh, we have some great news for you, Adam. That's right. Day four Balloon Fiesta, and it is a go. We do have the green flag up. Dawn Patrol has already lifted off. First wave of balloons cold inflating as we speak. We're also watching that gas balloon race at this time. The uh, team from Switzerland has pulled ahead of the team here uh, from New Mexico. That's Barbara Freaky and Peter Cuno. They are now in second place. So they've been in second place, but it's been neck and neck. They're about uh, 3,000 miles farther than the New Mexico team. Again, we're going to keep watching what's happening here. Balloon Fiesta Park, back to you. All right, Crystal, thanks so much. We're going to turn now to breaking news just into our newsroom. We have just heard, learned that the northbound lanes of I-25 are closed just outside Bernal. That's according to NM Road's Twitter feed. This is due to a crash that happened south of Las Vegas around mile marker 323. We have reached out to state police to confirm details. As soon as new information comes into our newsroom, we'll update you. Also happening this morning, people are living along the far east side of Paseo along Tramway near where video was taken showing a BCSO deputy pointing a gun at a biker from a moving patrol car say that they worry they could face more racing bikers. One woman says she's lived in that neighborhood for six years and the noise has not stopped since day one. She says she sees other neighbors complaints on social media. More on how BCSO is responding to that video coming up in the five facts and breaking overnight. A student accused of shooting and killing a Texas Tech police officer is behind bars. That incident happened late last night. Authorities say it began when an officer made a student welfare check. When they entered the room, officers say they found evidence of drugs. When the officer brought the suspect to the campus police station, they say the suspect pulled a gun and shot and killed the officer. They say Hollis Daniels then ran off on foot, but was later found and arrested. We're expecting to learn more from APD today about a crash that caused traffic problems in southeast Albuquerque last night. Police say one person was rushed to the hospital in critical condition after a crash near Zuni in Louisiana. At one point, Zuni at San Pablo was shut down, but as of this morning, that area is back open. Police do not suspect alcohol to be a factor. Kristen. Metro threat index not too high today. The only thing we got to worry about will be the cold temperatures out there. That's why it's at a three, but do expect temperatures to stay on the cooler side today in the 60s here in the metro. Lighter winds and lots of sunshine for this afternoon. Adam. Crews in Northern California wine country are expected to be on the fire lines this morning, trying to contain multiple wildfires burning throughout the region. Overnight, police went door to door in certain areas, asking people to evacuate. At least 10 people are dead after flames burned 1500 homes and structures yesterday. Right now, authorities have imposed a sunset to sunrise curfew in some areas because of potential looting. Sarah. A local art ex exhibition space is giving people a unique interactive experience through digital artwork. With their latest exhibit, Cyber Bodies, Art House in Santa Fe is showcasing digital and electronic works of art designed to engage visitors. It's a one-of-a-kind exhibit that features the first artwork to use a touch screen. The collection includes some of the first algorithmic plotter drawings, digital animation, and software-driven pieces. Cyber Bodies runs through the end of the year. Adam? Let's get a look at how traffic is shaping up this morning and find out where the trouble spots are as you head out the door. No accidents, no delays to report so far. That's good news, uh, even around Balloon Fiesta Park, where tra traffic does typically bunch up right as people get into uh, the area right now for today's expected launch. We'll keep you posted as things develop. And this morning, one of the biggest names in flight is about to get even bigger. Boeing is preparing to invest in a future with pilotless planes and flying taxis. The aerospace giant is buying Aurora Flight Sciences, which makes automated drones and robotic co-pilots. Aurora has also partnered with Uber to create an air taxi prototype. Let's move on to the five facts this morning. We'll begin with number five. As you heard earlier, it's day four of Balloon Fiesta. This morning, many people are preparing to snap that perfect picture. Balloon Fiesta is teaming up with Fiesta sponsor Canon for a photo contest. There are five categories to enter, including kids at Balloon Fiesta, Dawn Patrol or Balloon Glow, Mass Ascension, Special Shape Rodeo and Afterglow Fireworks. More details on the contest at always on KRQE.com. Number four happening tonight. Bernalillo County commissioners are scheduled to vote on a increasing the minimum wage that proposed 15 cent increase for unincorporated parts of the county would affect businesses outside city limits. If approved, the wage would go from 870 per hour to 885. 
Under a law adopted in 2013, a minimum wage increase is proposed every year, but commissioners can choose to opt out. On to number three this morning, the Hobbs Police Department is expected to be served with a lawsuit soon from three of its former officers. They're suing over racial discrimination and preparing to take their case to federal court, claiming they were told to target minorities on the job. The lawsuit filed last week says two African American officers and a Caucasian officer are expressing concern for their safety and constitutional rights. Attorney Shannon Kennedy says in another incident, a sergeant failed to stop an officer from using the N word. News 13 did reach out to the Hobbs Police Department, but officials did not offer a statement as of Monday. Number two, new developments in now viral video of that BCSO deputy pointing a gun at a biker from a moving patrol car. The sheriff says he will remain, that sergeant will remain on the job. Uh, I should say the deputy will remain on the job while the department launches an internal investigation. Motorcyclists are accused of surrounding the patrol car on Saturday while the group was heading south on tramway near Paseo. Sheriff Manning Gonzalez described the deputy's actions as a show of force, arguing the bikers were causing danger, prompting 45 different 911 calls. The sheriff says he will not identify the deputy who pointed the gun. Kristen? At number one, cold temperatures this morning and so cool this afternoon, only in the 60s. Lighter winds, though. We'll see plenty of sunshine for the next several days. Good news is our temperatures are actually getting warm, too. 70s tomorrow, low 80s by Friday, but no rain or snow to worry about. We are out here live at Balloon Fiesta Park. We are bringing you coverage all morning long on Fox from Mexico. And, y'all, we've got penguins. Join us on the other side.